today. For the introduction, here's a great voice. This is Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Jumbo, Cash, and Carry present the featured bout of the heavyweight explosion. Once again, this bout is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr. All officials at ringside shall remain the same. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Mer Griffin's Resorts Casino Hotel here on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Ten rounds of boxing. This is in the heavyweight division. The referee for this bout is Tony Perez. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with white trim, weighing in at 242 pounds. He's from Sharon Hill, Pennsylvania, and brings a professional record of 30 victories, 25 by KO, 10 defeats with one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, smoking Bert Cooper. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with red trim, weighing in at 220 pounds. He comes to us today from South Africa, undefeated with a record of 18 and 0, 11 by KO, introducing Corey Sander. You have your instructions. If you give me a clean fight, I will not bother neither one of you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands, and most important, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Good luck to Basile. Well, it's apparent that Tony Lopez will be in control, and these are the numbers that he'll be controlling. 242 pounds for Cooper, 220 for Corey Sanders. You see the age is almost even, but look at the advantage. And again, Sanders has an opportunity with a height advantage and reach. Heavyweight explosion is underway in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Round one. Smoke and Burt Cooper in the black with a white stripe against Corey Sanders in the white trunks. The taller the two, the better reach belongs to Sanders, but he'll look for Cooper on his chest for most of the afternoon today. They're set for ten rounds. Corey Sanders starting off boxing with Burt Cooper. Showing him some lateral movement here. He doesn't want to lay right in there with Cooper early. There's no sense in that. If Cooper is the heaviest in his career, and that might give some rise to speculation about his conditioning for the fight, but he says he's been power lifting down in Florida. He's dangerous early regardless of what he's been doing, Sam, and he's in front of the hometown fans, and that's just the kind of guy Bird is. As an amateur, fought as a policeman did Corey Sanders from 1985 to 1989. When he finally turned pro, he had to give up being a policeman and has started to make his living quite nicely, thank you, as a professional boxer. With big payday certainly in his sights down the road. He tried to counter with a good left hook and got it in on Cooper. Now he goes to work with a combination. Cooper covering up, taking most of those punches on the arm. The mouthpiece goes flying out of Cooper's mouth. I'm not sure whose mouthpiece that was, but no, I think it may have been Sanders. Corey needs to just take his time. He landed a good shot. He's got the respect of Cooper here. Cooper still has his mouthpiece. That was Sanders' mouthpiece. Corey landed a nice counter left hand on this guy, and that's just what he needs to do. But he, he's got this round one. He's boxing nicely. He's got the respect of Burt Cooper. He doesn't have to lay in there with him. That's not where he wants to be. That right there is not where he wants to be with Cooper. I'm not sure that referee Tony Lopez knows that a mouthpiece is out. And now he finally is being informed by the corner, and they're going to get the mouthpiece in for Sanders as they stop the clock. They stop it momentarily, and now they're back to action in round one. Well, you know, a lot of times, Bob, you have to kind of prime the, the uh, cannons, but they have come out and have fired all of some pretty good shots here early on in all of our heavyweight explosion fights today. Right, but if Corey Sanders could have orchestrated the way he wanted this first round to go, this would have been it. He wanted to get some respect for this guy and stop him from just all-out bum-rushing him, Sam. Cooper, you can see, training early under Joe Fraser with that stalking style. Kind of bobbing and weaving his way inside. Try to cut off the ring on Corey Sanders. Has him in the corner, and those are major league punches being thrown at Sanders. He said, that's enough of that. Cooper's people, there he comes. Cooper's people are shouting Tyson to him. The Tyson is the right hook to the body, right uppercut. The very few fighters have the quick quickness and explosiveness to use that combination, Burt Cooper being one of them. 
Closing seconds of round one of the explosion. Event. Both fighters spent as much time as they could on the stools between rounds, and round two finds Cooper right back stalking Sanders. Smokin' Burke, 27 years of age, 5'11", 242 pounds, the heaviest he's ever fought in this fight today. Cooper trying to slide around, cut off the ring on Corey Sanders. Sanders boxing nicely, nice right jab out there, keeping Cooper off and showing him that movement. Sanders trying to stay on his bicycle as much as he can, trying to pick the spots he can throw the punches at. Corey's going to box early in this fight, which is well advised here. Uh, Harold's really got a fantastic game plan in place here. Keep Cooper off him, work that right jab, get him into the later rounds where he's not so dangerous. You know, they talk so much about, of course, Johnny Deploy and also Pierre Kutzer as heavyweights in South Africa. That Corey Sanders, as a seven-time amateur champion, kind of went unnoticed until he started to take notice. And the one-round knockout of Deploy really kind of bolted him into the line life in his own country of South Africa. And now he exchanges with Cooper here in round two. Corey Sanders isn't letting Burt leave an exclamation point. Every time Burt Cooper lands something, Corey answers back nicely. Good body shot by Corey Sanders. As Cooper traps him on the ropes, tries to work him over. Corey's got to spin out of there now, Sam. He does not want to lay up on those ropes and let this guy wind up on him. He's got to spin out. Well, he tries to exchange inside. He got a couple of shots in, and so did Cooper. Excellent matchup here. Contrast in styles. One great thing about a heavyweight fight, you're either going to get a real good one, or you're going to get one of those they lay on each other for six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds. You're not going to find that in this fight. They're going to be right there where they are all night long, throwing punches at will. Corey Sanders needs to keep his mouth closed. Gulping for some air here in the second round. Burt Cooper trying to pressure him. Looking back to his corner for instructions. That's the kind of confidence he has in Harold Bulbrick. And there was that Tyson maneuver that Burt Cooper's corner has been imploring him. And here comes Corey Sanders answering back when Cooper tries to rest. This is certainly ebb and flow in this fight here, Sam. You can see that uppercut, how it snaps Sanders' head backwards from Cooper. And then Sanders, of course, will let fly with about a three or four punch combination off the ropes. But Cooper continues to pound to the body, and then he'll throw that right hand over the top. There's the uppercut as they come to the close of round number two of the scheduled 10 round fight. It's round number three as we're ready to continue with our heavyweight explosion and Corey Sanders. The taller of the two comes out against Bert Cooper. What can Corey Sanders do to get the initiative in the fight, Bob? Well, he wants to keep distance in between the two of them right now, Sam. That's exactly what he wants to do. And Bert wants to shorten up that distance. Bert wants Corey Sanders back to the rope. And Corey Sanders wants to be in the middle of the ring. A couple good right hands by Bert Cooper. May have opened up a cut, cut over Corey Sanders' eye. You can always tell how hard the punches are being thrown as Sanders comes out and throws. And that's the way. Combination. Beautiful answer and back by Corey Sanders. He's got to go tit for tat with this guy. I was wrong about the cut. Just some reddening. He's got to go tit for tat. He can't let Kurt Cooper just move in on him with reckless abandon. He's got to let him know if he walks in here, he's going to taste a little. And he's working good to the body underneath this Corey Sanders. Oh, good leg hand. hand. And Cooper's down. <laughs> Great move by Sanders, and there's a cut on the outside of the right eye of Cooper. Sanders pushed Cooper away and then landed the big right hand. Sanders is anxious to get back to work, and here they come. Sanders pounding away on Cooper. The three knockdown rule is in effect in this fight. Cooper's been down once. Cooper, that's it. Cooper, he I think he's saying that's, that's it. The fight's it's over. over. Cooper says no more, and Sanders gets the knockout in the third round. The big left hand, Sam, said it all. 
He got him on the end of that straight left hand, and that was it for Burn Cooper. Corey showed that power. They didn't know if that kind of his power could show out against a guy like Burt Cooper, but he, he served notice on the whole world here tonight. Well, it's Corey Sanders. He gets the knockout here at the end in the third round. As Burt Cooper says, no moss. I don't want any more of this guy in our heavyweight explosion. Out here in the third round, and the opportunity in his mind, thinking that a heavyweight title shot could be in his grasp. Burt Cooper back to the ropes, and Sanders just relentless in his punching. This is after a knockdown had already been accomplished, and Cooper finally says no more, and Lopez finally stops the fight and does it in the third round. Let's get the official time of the stoppage, and here is Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Perez stops the bout. The official time, one minute, 26 seconds, round number three. The winner by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new heavyweight on the block, Corey Sanders.